aircraft of the future. It's conceptual. With multi-role capacity. A complete break with previous generation. The Rafale will completely change the way Air Forces operate. It will allow ground personnel, pilots, and maintenance teams to work under easier, more comfortable conditions. 11.05 and 30 seconds. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hack. Today's mission, maximum damage on General HQ. The means, two Rafales in each 64, two scalp configuration, and two Mirage 2000Ds with two GBU-16 configurations per aircraft. For support, an AWACS call sign, Magic. Weather-wise, on target, it'll be Cavo K. No problem, and the wind will be calm. The Rafale is an all-weather, all-environment aircraft. is a technological revolution. Its radar makes you think of a bat. Its optronics make you think of a cat's night vision. An iron bird of prey, a large raptor like an eagle. A bird that makes you dream almost invisible. Strength, Strength. power, power, stealth, stealth. It can see without being seen. This low observability comes from its specifically designed shape, as well as from its skin, which absorbs radar waves. The ECM detects threats and electromagnetic waves and can jam them in such a blinding manner as to become totally invisible. So you've got the canal running underneath, the railroad tracks to the north, Compared to those of previous generations, this aircraft is integrated into a global system. It's completely integrated into its mission training systems and can then replay the entire mission. The Rafales of the de Air come to know the feats of the Afghanistan. The aérien of the Rafales engaged in the combat risk of multiplying. The aircraft is in itself a complete defense system capable of multiple missions. We dive, and we break away. The Rafale was designed with open, modular, and evolutionary architecture, so as to be able to integrate new weapons, new sensors, and new functions quickly and easily. Sir, gentlemen, Good morning. Here is the latest information you'll need to carry out today's mission. Take off from Saint Dizier. Air refueling at 1445 Zulu. Split of the two aircraft. Firing of the four scouts. Any questions? Good luck. The Rafale is the only aircraft able to take off with two and a half times its empty weight. The Rafale can receive information from all actors in the theater of operations. It can also transmit its own data and thus participate in the tactical situation building. This data link is Liaison 16, a NATO standard, which allows interoperability with other types of platforms. The data fusion from onboard sensors allows a synthesis of these detections, thereby enhancing the intelligence of the tactical environment.
refueling. Push at 1445 Zulu. Your float is north 4545. The burst will be at 215. have taken up strategic positions that you've got to neutralize today. Thanks to its intuitive man-machine interface, the aircraft becomes the extension of the man. Just four training flights are needed for a pilot to carry out all missions as a single-seater in the aircraft. Here is the latest information you'll need to carry out today's mission. Split of the two aircraft for a Scout linked mission. Three and four. For the scout strike. Domain of leader, domain of number two. Missile launching. <laughs> scout fire at 4,000 and right breakaway. is a concept of a digital flight control system coupled with a very low altitude trajectory computer allows the Rafale to fly undetected by hostile radar. Once the target is destroyed, we join up on the Mirage 2000D at 3 o'clock Zulu in order to protect them and to maintain air superiority throughout the zone for the time needed to strike and for post Ricky. Operational effectiveness through the ability to lead several missions simultaneously during the same sortie can considerably reduce the number of aircraft needed by an Air Force. To its integrated maintenance concept, the aircraft is never grounded for repairs and boasts an operational availability rate of more than 90%. Integrated test software is embedded in the aircraft and permanently checks the health of aircraft systems during the flight and triggers maintenance operations as necessary as soon as the mission is over so as to get ready for the next flight. It takes one hour to change an engine. And 20 minutes to reload the aircraft with fuel and weapons. <laughs> 